It was the first time many of us learned that our individual actions could harm the planet itself. Hairsprays, we heard in the 1980s, were damaging the Earth's protective ozone layer. The signs were evident over Antarctica. Too much ultraviolet light was getting through. The ozone layer wasn't blocking it properly. It had an impact on health. People were warned to wear sunscreen to combat the rays from the unfiltered sun. As personal habits changed, world governments in 1987 agreed a ban on the chemicals causing the damage to ozone. The effects have been dramatic. This animation over icy Antarctica shows the ozone hole from 1979. It shifted year by year, but the overall trend was bad. Then first it stabilised, and last year scientists say the layer began to thicken. The healing process seems to have begun. Humans have started to do the right thing in order to convert the uh, chemical nature of the atmosphere back toward what it was before the uh, Industrial Re Revolution started. It'll be some time before scientists can absolutely confirm that the ozone hole is actually growing over, but the signs are good. Unlike that other global problem, climate change. People in the Himalayas struggling this week against the sort of weather scientists say will get worse as carbon dioxide levels increase. It's so much more difficult. Our cars, homes, factories all contribute to heating the planet. This problem may not get solved at all. Roger Harabin, BBC News.